I wake up. Speaking of wake up, I found out that I have a new superpower since I turned 40. This is very exciting. I don't like to tell old people jokes, so if you're under 30, buckle up. But anyway, I'm just saying, once you turn 40, wonderful things happen. Like, I have the new ability to hurt myself sleeping, you guys. Yes, anybody? Yeah, I used to have to bungee jump out of an airplane or do something like play hockey, but no, no, no. I could sleep on two pillows and I can't walk for three days, right? And I'm in physical therapy and the dude's like, what'd you do, ma'am? I was like, I woke up, Skippy, okay? I woke up. <laughs> and then I did stupid things during the pandemic. Just because it's on Groupon does not mean it's a good idea, okay? Don't get a colonoscopy on Groupon, I'm just saying. <laughs> and for goodness sakes, don't buy a $4.99 horseback riding excursion. The horse was $5, you guys. It was a discount horse, okay? Because he was done with rides. And the minute I got in that position, I realized God did not mean, I just didn't need my legs to ever be straddling anything ever again after I've had two kids. And I was on the horse, and the horse, he just wanted to die. You could tell. He was like, lady, I'm going to end it. You're so fat. You're so fat, lady. Get off or I'm going off the cliff. I'm going off the cliff like Thelma and Louise. Just get off, you fatty. Yeah, and then my daughter wanted me to go rock climbing. Rock climbing? You're not supposed to climb rocks. You're supposed to throw rocks at fifth grade boys, okay? That's what... You climb... I was like, I will support you spiritually from the ground. I don't need to put wheels on my feet. I do not need to be in water. I'm telling you. I just, there's some girls out here now, they're like, I like her. I'm just gonna come and sit with her on a rocking chair. Like, I'm just ready for that. Like, I'm just ready. I know, and I'm getting closer in age. And, you know, I married for love the first time, but I'm just gonna go around the senior center right now and look for old money. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, girl, yes. I love you clapping for that. You're 14. Somebody taught you right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't you marry for love. That is ridiculous. And by the way, stop Googling your boyfriends. That's not what's important. You need to go on Ancestry.com. That's what, yes. Oh no, because my kids, on my side, they're Italian and Irish, but on their dad's side, they're Korean and Native American ladies. Oh yes, Korean and Native American. That means my kids are getting a scholarship and a casino, okay? They are, and that's not even a racial joke. They're just smarter than me, okay? They are smarter than I am, and I, I'm glad that my kids are part Asian because they can do my taxes. I'm telling you, it's like the Asian side of the film. And like Lucy, like, okay, I've got two kids, right? I've got two totally different kids. Like Lucy, she was like, probably fifth grade, she's crying in the corner. She's crying, I'm like, what? She's like, I got an A minus. I got an A minus in math. And I was like, you don't need math, you're pretty, you know? And, uh, <laughs> Sorry, it's common core math. Anybody, that's, what is common core? Two plus two is not four. No, no, no. Two plus two is whatever you feel like writing because we don't want to trigger your feelings, okay? <laughs> so she's crying because she got an A minus. She's like, because my Korean grandma said an A minus is a negative A. She said, that's an Asian F. And then my other one's got like a bucket over her head just knocking into walls being like, I like lunch. I was like, see, that's my kid, okay? <laughs> You know you have two kids, you have like the good one, and then you have the don't ask, don't tell kid. You know you got the, like the one you pick up at carpool and you look at the teacher and you're like, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. You just try to make it to June, you're just trying to make it to June. I'm sorry, Miss George, you know which one that is. But uh, anybody drive your kids to school? Anybody a mom that drives your kids to school? Anybody a working mom drive your kids to school? And you've been driving your preschool or your kid to school and they're a little, Vomiting, you guys ever had that where they're just like a little bit sick? They have a tiny fever, just like 104, like not bad. And you're dry, and you gotta go to work. And your kid is vomiting on the driveway. And I just had to look at my baby, because I love her. And I just say, honey, we gotta keep this a secret between you and mommy, okay? 